How observant are you of the built environment you live in? Have you ever come across a building that looks rather ordinary and yet you are fascinated by the story behind it? Have you ever wondered why people build the way they do or why they choose certain materials over others? Or even why the building faces certain direction? In answering these questions, we need to look at our communities and build identities and tradition over time. And this, in essence, is what the study of vernacular architecture is all about. Much of the Asian vernacular built heritage comes from the assimilation of different cultures through immigration and trading activities. This provides both explicit and subtle references to the countries of their origin. Asia is a place that has many cultural layers. It has seen rapid economic growth over the past few decades which doesn't only transform people's lives, but also changes the everyday environment in which they live. People in Asia are faced daily with the dual challenges of, on one hand, modernization, and on the other, preserving their many heritage, including, of course, their built heritage. This course will give you multiple perspectives on vernacular environments. With an emphasis on the built heritage of Asia, we will discuss topics including indigenous building materials, the effects that climates have on the built environment, the way culture shapes buildings, building processes that are unselfconscious, different building methods and traditions, and vernacular landscapes. Joining us in exploring these fascinating topics is my good friend Professor Howard Davis from the University of Oregon, my colleagues in the University of Hong Kong, including Drs. Lynn DiStefano and Li Ho Yin in conservation studies and Adam Bobbitt in landscape architecture, and my former colleague Professor Larry Dailong in sociology. They all have a strong research interest in vernacular architecture in Asia and have personally visited many of these places we are going to talk about in this course. Throughout the course, we will have panel discussions, site visits to interesting places in Asia. We will also share ideas with our peers from all around the world. And we will develop our own understanding of how we fit into the built environment. Whether you are a seasoned architect or just someone who is curious about the topic of vernacular architecture, this course will change the way you see the everyday environment in which you live. It is going to be an exciting journey. Join us now.